you try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you Hi guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna update you guys on a lot of things that I have, that we have kind of like been keeping to ourselves because I don't know why, honestly. I don't know why we have been keeping it to ourselves, but we just haven't really had the chance to like talk about them in the vlogs because I feel like I can't really express myself too much in the vlogs because I don't want it to be like super long and stuff like that. But today we're gonna mainly focus on, you know, answering some of your guys' questions and updating you guys on a lot of things that are happening and a lot of things that are changing and everything like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm also going to vlog a little bit. I'm making lunch for the girls currently. You guys know that Luis is not here anymore. I'm just home alone with the girls. And I just like really want to talk about that because first of all, you guys have been wondering like where Luis is working and everything like that. But I want to make it super casual. I just want it to be like, you know, a friend coming over to talk to me and stuff. Just to make it more, to make it more comfortable and you know you guys are my friends this is what i made for the girls for lunch today these are some like ham and cheese roll-ups amelie has been loving these so this is what i made today for them super fast and easy with some oranges and that's what they're having for lunch do you guys want to eat mm -hmm. here's your lunch babies the blue one is yours amelie and the pink one is cammy's what do you guys say you. you're welcome baby <laughs> <laughs> love you okay so real quick Cammy decided that it was a good idea to draw with marker on this couch and I do not know how to remove that so if you guys have any ideas on how to remove marker on couch let me know also this has so many stains I need to like go over it and like remove them and she also put marker on this whole thing this one was me this one was you thank you for telling the truth but why did you do that we don't draw on uh, furniture okay only on paper okay I love how honest Amelie is she's like uh uh it wasn't Cammy it was me Okay, eat your food. So before I get to like sit down and talk to you guys, I'm gonna go in the garage and start removing the car seat fabric off the car seats and the stroller and everything because I want to wash them. Because as you guys know, I'm trying to fit three car seats across my car. And if I wanna do that, I need to sell the ones that I currently have and I need to clean them. And either way, like I had to clean them because they're so filthy and I haven't done that in a while. So we're gonna do that also the double stroller I want to clean it because it's also very dirty and we're obviously going to be using that for when the baby comes So these are the car seats that we currently have Amelia has had this car seat ever since before she turned one so We've had this car seat for like over three years already and then this one Cami got a little bit before she turned one as well um, and you can see how filthy they are. You know, this is just life with kids. So they definitely need a deep clean. So I'm going to try to remove all the fabric and then put them in the washer and wash that. And then also do that with the stroller. What about you, Amelie? Ooh, pretty. Okay, you guys, I am breaking a sweat. Literally, I'm sweating so much from trying to remove all the fabric from the car seats, but I think I did it, or most of it. No, baby, don't touch that. Leave it down, please, because no. you can damage it, okay? No. So, I have, bless you, 
I have the stroller fabric there. The car seats, I also took out the infant car seat, the Eppa baby one. Uh, I have the Grey Girl and the Nuna. So I'm gonna put all of this in the washer and wash it with um, cold water and non-fragrance detergent. And then it should take out all the stains, hopefully, and we should be good to go. Okay, let's go inside, girls, because it's really hot outside. Help me take all the fabric inside, please. Okay, so that was definitely harder than what I expected. But they're in the wash now. So now I'm just going to sit down and <laughs> talk to you guys. And as you can see, there's a little sneak peek of how the nursery is turning out. Which, by the way, I am going to post the nursery tour next week. So sometime next week, expect that. Let me fix this camera. But I am seriously obsessed with how everything is turning out. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the final result of what the nursery looks like. I think I did a pretty good job, you know, designing it and decorating it. So anyways, I'm not going to talk much about that anymore. But you can see a little sneak peek right here. And I love it. Okay, so... I know that so many of you guys don't follow me on my Instagram and that's where I usually update you guys on a lot of things. So if you want to follow me, go ahead and follow me. It's just life as Abigail underscore. A lot of my Instagram followers already know what Luis is doing for a job. And I know that a lot of you guys here on YouTube are like wondering like, what is he doing? What's his new job and stuff like that. So let's talk about that first because I know that's like the number one question that I've been getting. And you guys want to know. Oh my gosh, I'm literally running out of breath still. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape and so pregnant. <laughs> okay, so there is a reason why I've been so hesitant to like say what he's going to do, especially because of everything going on recently in the world. But pretty much Luis is uh, going to the police academy to become a police officer, a cop, and hopefully in the future he wants to like, you know, grow in that workspace and become a detective. I'm not sure exactly like what he wants to do in the near future, but um, he's going to the police academy and I am seriously so proud of him But because of everything going on right now, so many people like hating cops, so many people like you know trying to defund the police and just against police it like really scared me to like tell you guys because i didn't want to like get hate because of what he's going to be doing and i've come to the realization that honestly luis is doing doing such a good thing becoming a police officer because he's going to make a difference and he's going to be one of the good cops and he's going to try to do his best to you know make a difference in our community and honestly we need that right now so much so i'm so so proud of him he's been wanting this for a while now and he finally finally got in it was such a hard process to like get into the academy so solely because of that i'm like so so proud of him he's gone through so many things already and he has been in the academy for a week now so this week was like the official like the official first week of like the actual academy last week was like orientation and kind of like introducing them to like what it's going to be like and everything like that and this week he's seen how hard it's actually going to be and the police academy here is one of like the hardest ones because of the crime rate here in albuquerque so um he's going to be super prepared and they're really going to prepare them to be good cops which is amazing i'm definitely scared and nervous which was another question like how do you feel about him becoming a police officer and everything like that i'm definitely scared but i know that this is what he wants and i support him 100 percent. and i just know he's going to be the best cop ever and he's gonna make us so proud and he wants to make a difference for our girls like we want to be able to raise them in a good world, as ironic as that sounds. But yeah, if you have not good things to say about him becoming a cop, please try to keep it to yourself and try to be respectful because this is what he chose and he's going to be 
to do good he's gonna do more good than bad like becoming a cop so now it has been hard for me now that he's not home because i've been having to do everything on my own which i'm not complaining in any way but i just wasn't used to that anymore i'm getting used to it now again but the hardest part for me has been like the mental part of it like my mental health is like the hardest part for me being alone because i hate being alone like if i could decide to have him home rather than him go to work i would so pick him being at home with us because it really motivates me to like be more productive to you know just do whatever i have to do for the day and now that i'm not that he's not here it's been really hard for me to like motivate myself yeah it's just it's just hard to be on top of everything because i'm alone and i thrive but you guys know this i thrive around people so that's been really hard for me um, to get myself like motivated and to be like excited to start my day because I hate being alone so it's definitely going to be an adjustment for the both of us Luis is also having a hard time you know with the academy because it is a lot harder than what he was expecting it to be but I am like constantly encouraging him that he can do this and that he's gonna do amazing and I just like know that he can do this but it's like an adjustment for all of us and I'm starting to like get used to him not being here and trying to get myself motivated to do everything I need to do but it's definitely hard so not complaining it's just a, a process that we have to both go through that the girls have been doing amazing they do miss him but for the most part they're just you know just being kids and just being their little selves <laughs> so they're not hard to take care of or anything like that it's just the adjustment process i guess so that's like the biggest life update another thing that you guys have been asking is what's going to happen when the baby comes and how all of that's going to work because he is in the academy like am i going to be alone with all three with all three kids and stuff like that so thankfully we have family and friends around us now that are willing to help us so my mother-in-law is going to be helping me a lot my little sister-in-law hopefully my sisters can make it down here for a few days when he does get here another thing is i'm looking into getting induced just because Luis is not going to have any days off like he's not going to get paternity leave because this is the academy so it's strict training that he can get time off and i'm okay with that i just i want him to be able to be there for the for the birth of the baby so we're thinking of getting induced the weekend before i'm due if he doesn't come sooner than that so i'll be like 39 weeks in a few days and that way he can make it to the birth because he's not working on weekends which is amazing i'm so thankful for that so thinking of getting dues like on a friday have the baby like on a saturday and be able to go home on a sunday something like that along those lines so hopefully that happens and he's able to make it that's like my biggest fear right now is that he won't be able to make it to to the birth of leo and that just really freaks me out because i definitely want him with me especially with everything right now like with covid they only let like i think one person with you and then once they get there like they can't leave or they can't leave and then come back you know so i'm thinking that that's the best possible scenario for us because he's not gonna have any days off so if we can have the baby during the weekend, he can definitely make it and just be there with me the whole time. I don't want him to leave because then he won't be able to come back into the hospital. So yeah, and once the baby's here, how I said, I'm gonna have a lot of help from my family and maybe friends if they want to help. But I think that will be okay. Honestly, that's the least of my worries. Like after the baby's here, I think I can handle all three of them just because the girls are so good and stuff i am 29 weeks as of yesterday on tuesday so super excited he's growing like a weed and just making my belly bigger and bigger i've gotten a few stretch marks at this point just because he's getting so big and this is my third pregnancy which i'm okay with like it's it's no big deal here is my belly and what it's looking like at 29 weeks pregnant it is sticking out so much 
it's so crazy i feel like it's like super tiny but it like sticks out so much as you can see but i think that is everything for the updates that i have for you guys but if you guys have any other like video requests let me know down below i just really wanted to get this out of the way and just let you guys know like what is happening and how our life is changing now that he's gone back to work pray for him that he does good in the academy and that he is safe once he is out there working as a cop i'm so nervous for him but how i said like i'm just so proud of him and what he's doing and what he's going to be doing so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching today's video i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in our next one bye